Hello everyone, welcome. This is Olenka from Canada. I'm Ukrainian Canadian. And let us look, um, have a closer look uh, on situation that um, is um, about the war, Russia's war against Ukraine. I would like uh, us to um, see what higher power, what Taro will say about it. I will use vice versa Taro. Let's look into uh, this situation right now, because we know that war is um, going nowhere. Uh, brutal war, lots of uh, victims. 10 million people lost their homes. Lots of people lost their life or are uh, suffering from the war. Us, who are far away from it, we also suffer. Uh, it is called in uh, psychology, witness suffering. We witness it and it, it is painful because it's most unfair war. Let us look into this. What Tara will uh, advise you and me and where the war is going. Who will win? Just simple, right? Who will win? We have here five of swords and uh, two of chalices who will win um two five of swords shows three parties this card card shows three parties right the weight deck uh, which is more um, practical i will just read you rider weight it shows three parties first party is a person in front that doesn't want to fight anymore because uh, the war is going nowhere the third party is uh, far away on, on a background and it's facing the sea. And the middle party is uh, doesn't know what to do, choosing sides, doesn't know what to do. So this card tells me about situation. The person in the front is maybe people who are involved in actual fight. They cannot fight anymore because this this war um, is very strange it looks like the war of 100 years ago but um, the weapons are technological so it's a mixture it's a transition war it's transition to something else and it is most dangerous for people um, they don't want to pay with their lives anymore on both sides the person who is um, on the background facing the sea, it may be Ukrainian people who now uh, worry about Congress, about the US. Uh, will US support Ukraine? Will the European Union support Ukraine? Will NATO su support Ukraine or not? Uh, because <clears throat> we see that uh, it is dangerous now. It is dangerous because um, Ukraine lost a lot of land, a lot of people, economics, all is um, suffering really bad. And um, there's no inner strength anymore. So really, we rely on help from US mostly. Um, maybe middle person is um, European Union people who uh, wish to help, who worry about nuclear war, worry about their own security, who um, are suffering, like witness suffering, right? Uh, they, most people are um, passionate about it. Most people um, are so close to it because you, European Union, everything is so close. <clears throat> it's not that they don't, they don't know what to do. They do, they don't because we are dealing with um, huge nuclear power that is attacking a um, country that um, has no nuclear power. So everyone is worried now. And Five of Swords is saying um, it is a transition time for the war, transition time. Something will change. What will change? 
is it uh, two of cups talking about a peace maybe or um, see, um, fire sees his fire right intermediate peace something is going to happen what will happen i'll ask um, i'll take another card what will be repaired because here you have a sign of medicine something has to be repaired we have here a high priestess major arcana who is watching and thinking this is archetype of wisdom what will happen next high priestess has a crown out of um, cycles moon cycles so i would say in one month we will see changes we will see maybe u.s support because now congress congress u.s congress will decide what to do or we will see uh, changes uh, maybe some agreement will be um, reached about uh, uh, ceasefire it's possible what else i see here this is the queen of swords queen of swords is saying that it won't be the end of the war it won't be it uh, but the war can can maybe go into a low profile more low profile there's a danger in it there's in danger of um, everyone feeling like okay it's new normality the war cannot be new normality uh, the war cannot win <laughs> you cannot win the war yes um the only way out of this is um defense of ukraine i, I think this is motherly defense of ukraine the tower is a very complicated card in tower it talks about collapse it is a collapse of uh, a lot of um, you know um, world um, order is collapsing with, with this war and with other wars look what's going on in the world we just not, we're not aware look at the tibet for example tibet is an independent country and you can't even see it on the map it is so small Yes, they speak Chinese, but they are an independent uh, nation. So it is occupied partially by China, partially by India. And who, who knows about it? No one. No one defends Tibet. Everyone accepted it, it as a new normality. It is not a new normality. If you listen to Dalai Lama, you will see uh, how um, Tibetan people suffer it. They lost their identity. Now we all worry about Taiwan, right? Uh, to me, Taiwan is a real China. Communist China is occupied by by, um, by um, communist country. So uh, a lot of uh, unfair things going in the world. Uh, but a brave Ukraine is fighting for its independence. Uh, brave Ukraine uh, doesn't give up. And Carta the card uh, tower is talking about danger that this war brings not just to europe it is part of um, the whole um, world situation which is really collapsing yes um, democratic countries are going through transition yes ace of sorts about democratic countries that go in through transition now and also um, countries that are not democratic or new democracy also go through through transition it is difficult time very difficult time three of pentacles money i needed to to um find new medicine to fight disease to save people but money i spent on weapons this is so silly this is so stupid three of pentacles talking about a new money it's new time right a transition everywhere um three of pentacles uh, talking about crisis everything is three times more expensive because of the war i talked to my manager investment manager 
for my investments. And um, a person told me, if the war escalate to uh, another level, God forbid, nuclear, everyone will withdraw their money and um, stock market will totally fall right away. So everyone is involved because what is your money? It's, it's your job, it's your work, it's your hard back-breaking work that you did um, years after years to secure your retirement or it is, it is your livelihood and now you can lose everything because, because of all of that. Of course, I understand that people lose their lives, they're losing their homes. But listen, friends, um, I, I went through this. When I left Ukraine in 1991, as soon as opportunity um, knocked my door, because yes, I, I had personal reasons and they are very tragic reasons, but I left my home, I cleaned my house, I locked the door and I never returned. All I had with me was a, a backpack with change of underwear, that's all. And with me were three, two, two children, three years, my husband. <laughs> um, I, yeah, it was my idea to do it. So he went with me, but it was my idea. Uh, three people with me, I, I felt responsible. Maybe my husband also felt responsible for three people, two children and me. So this is a good marriage when I feel like I am responsible for three people and he feels like he's responsible for, for three people. And we went through it. We lost a home and we lost the home uh, intentionally, not like somebody took it from us. Yes, we know that communists took it from us. I never considered anything my own. Actually, I live like this all my life. All I have is my experience, my good heart. Everything else is just I am using in on this using my house, but it, nothing is mine. Actually, in Canada, nothing is yours now. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that I understand people uh, lost their homes because uh, enemy came and took it. But I'm I'm telling you, I lost my home. It's the same idea. I lost everything. I didn't even take suitcase with me. And maybe this is why communists let us go, because they, they didn't see even suitcase. They thought, okay, these people don't intend to stay. Um, what I'm trying to say, I know what it is. And yes, I had a personal reasons, um, not only personal, political too, because I did not believe that communists will let it go so easy. When uh, we had discussions with my husband before we left, I said, no. It's going to last a um, couple of generations be before communists will give up. Yeah, that's it happened to be true. So what I'm trying to say, um, friends, don't hold to your possession. Just be a little free from it. Don't hold to your ego, uh, to your any um, ideas about you, about life, about um, light and darkness, about good and evil. Don't hold to it. Just be fluid. Try to do your best to the world and hope for the best. I see that the war is coming to, not to stop, but coming to the situation uh, where uh, we have to uh, make aftermath, just to make few, um, um, how to say, um, lessons, to, to understand a couple of lessons that uh, these two years uh, gave us and come back i will talk more about it may a higher power bless you and keep you see you soon